I was making this video because um, yesterday I was walking around by the pond and I had found um, a batch of eggs and they were actually covered in fire ants and they look kind of moldy except for one that I found so I got it before the fire ants were all over it and um, I brought it in anyway there it is it's a um it's perfectly round when I got it it was pretty much I guess you know trans kind of transparent because you could see it was kind of you can see where the color it was that whole cup the bottom color it was that color when I found it the whole egg no spots no white spots on it so I picked it up made sure not to turn it um, and I put it in here, gently brought it back in, and then it started getting a little white spot on the top. And I've had it for about probably a week, and now it is um, chalked over. It's chalking over very well. There's no moldy spots on it that I've noticed. Um, I, every like every other day, I've been getting a bottle of warm water a spray bottle and heating it up a little um, just like kind of warm I spray it on my hand to make sure it's not hot and I kind of just spray the dirt around the egg maybe one little squirt above the egg and then the top of the lid I have air holes all in it um, and then I put the lid back on and it's that you can see that I can well I can see I don't know if you can see on the camera that it's kind of um, like it's sweat like the egg it looks like it's sweating kind of when I come in here it'll have like moisture all over it um, I have it I'm not I don't I'm not incubating it or anything but I keep it pretty cool kind of pretty cool in my house so I put it next to you can't it's in the it's sitting in a window sill. Um, it over here in the window sill. It probably stays around like 78 degrees. Um, and so pretty much that's it. I have it in the dirt. I have it in. It, I ha oh I have been keeping a lid on it lightly. Snap so when that I pop, I take the lid off. I don't jar the egg. I don't put it all the way down on there. And the dirt, this actually was the container. My husband, he was out there um, fishing with worms. And I found the egg and I made him dump all the worms out. And because the dirt that comes with the worms are, um, it's like really like kind of moist and really soft. And I think it's made to kind of hold water for the worms but um, that's what it's in I, I didn't make like any kind of mixture of mulch or anything with, or moss with it or anything but anyway it's yeah it's the, um, I was kind of really worried about it I, I made sure not to tip it tilt it or anything when I was bringing it back to the house but um after I seen it getting that spot on top, I was thinking, well, maybe, you know, they were fresh. They were kind of fresh eggs, and the embryo hadn't, the placenta hadn't attached to the egg yet. Um, because when I brought it, it was like, I had it for two days. It got the white, the white, little white spot on the top, and now it's getting more of a white spot. And I can tell you, I really don't know anything about eggs. This one is perfectly round. My brother, he was like, you found a cotton mouth egg. And he was like, you're going to hatch a snake in your house. But, um, anyway, yeah, it's perfectly round. It's hard. It's It was hard when I found it. It's a hard egg. And it, so I've looked up pictures. I didn't really see any snake eggs that look like this, but it could be a snake. I'm not not really scared of snakes. If it does hatch a snake, I can just get it out and release it. But that's about it. If you can tell me what kind of egg you think it is, or does it look okay? To, uh, I haven't seen any moldy moldy spots on it. Um, nothing like that. I mean, the dirt is you know a good like temp 
kind of a warmer temp a warm temperature, not hot, not cold, and I'm keeping it. I'm definitely trying to keep it moist. So, if you could tell me anything about it or anything, the little spots you see on it, that's just dirt. I did kind of have a little dirt drizzled on top of it. Okay, well, thank you.